Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is a special edition of the Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be an intriguing matchup between the Cleveland Browns and the Oakland Raiders. So with that, let's get out to the East Bay in Oakland, California. On the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, so this old place not quite done yet. There is playoff football to be played in the East Bay in Oakland, California. Coming up, it's Divisional Round Saturday, and we've got an AFC battle on tap between the Cleveland Browns and the Oakland Raiders. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest, you'll take the week off, get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. there and about by the nose of the football he's going to have a first down I do believe we'll see this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down there and if you can sting them there it open things up for him outside as well that's where he their big tight end is so good that middle third the seam routes the in routes yeah you're see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. Now Carr after the incomplete pass brings him up second and ten. To throw again. Carr. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot. Third down. That certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit. Loosen them up, have them back on the heels. He gets it to Brown. Good play. Oh, the big play's going to get even bigger as penalty flags are down, and I believe they're going to get a face mask penalty tacked on. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. I always enjoy the conversation post because the officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Well, they've been practicing goal line offense all week. Let's see if they're able to capitalize here. Again, it's Carr. And that's incomplete. Can't fault the offensive line for that incompletion at all. He had all day to throw the football. Their alarm clocks went off early today, didn't they? Absolutely, they did. He was surveying, surveying, finally let it go, but incomplete. Second down and goal. Caught. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. The papers this week, it was all talk about how big of a game this was. Of course it is. It's the playoffs. It's the divisional round. But they handled it well. They scored early. They really did. Plenty of confidence exuded on that drive. No nerves. They'll run on first down. It's Cole. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. Call it an eight yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just 
first a yard. Throwing now is Carr. He's got his man. It's Williams. That's good for a first down. His guy went over 1,000 yards receiving in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch of the playoffs. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Car now on first down. This throw to the middle taken in by Cole. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A nice game of 21 yards. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack. A lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. This time to the tailback. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more on that one, and another first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, it just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Strong broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground, just shy of the 15. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. From the 16, Carr. This will be caught at about the six. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so Lance in the red zone. Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. Brown, the lone receiver left. Here's Carr. There to make the grab. And the Raiders are in the lead. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody. But those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It's the defense. is beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Timing is everything, and they work on this time all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down the completion. Carr now, 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. This winds up a gain of four to the 41. I call that play a success. A nice inside run. Very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Watch Twitch. Watch the Twitch first. Mike, 53. 53. Mike, Mike. From the 41. Carr. Man open left side is Brown. And it will be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. These two teams all tied after one. So a first and ten upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 46. Now Carr. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half. Unable to connect on that one. 
Seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well. Create the mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Carl trying to get on second down. Throwing the out round incomplete. That's Grant. Is now in this division round matchup. That one, a first down. But that's what you're looking for when you're wanting to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, who can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Inside the 20 at the 19. 10 yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and taking them for that much space to rumble. goes out of bounds, but he was not outside of the tackle box when he threw that. He's got to be careful. When I both know if it's even close, they're going to give it to the quarterback. They don't want to throw that flag unnecessarily. So if you're just in the area, you're going to be okay. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. That's what he caught at the ten-yard line. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The last catch did get three, but they're still seven yards on third down. To throw, it's Carr. That is caught by Brown. Touchdown, Raiders. Third touchdown pass now for Derek Carr. And his guys are able to regain the lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes the defense tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, Nothing out of that one. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and ten. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. On third down. Cole, and he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Carr. And this is going to be caught. He won for the football. Well, we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. This game has the feel of, what, a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving <laughs> playbook's going to look like, like they're drawing them up in the dirt, and so far it's working for both of them. So a first and ten up coming from Brown's territory now at the 35-yard line. And it'll be incomplete. Physical play on the football there at a second down. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against the zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball. Not easy for any quarterback out of the situation and then the defense won the battle. So much. 
much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not, and they'll try to convert on third and inches. And to get this time to the tailback. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. we've done all year that coming up at halftime we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando he'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend and he'll be taken down at the two yard line 12 yards there and a first down that's what love the run right there this guy is known for his quickness but also for his speed and he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking always talk about slot receivers and they usually know it as quicker than fast in this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. Now they'll throw with Carr. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Make it four touchdown passes now for Dan. two teams in this first half it's been fun back and forth back and forth well it's not fun for the defensive coordinators but <laughs> offensive coordinators are enjoying it yeah they're having streaks here aren't they being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up and we have a tight game here you know we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf today is track shoes Fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the third of the 31. A gain of six there on the first. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. A gain of Good enough for the first down. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Cole, and he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop it. and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 47. The first down run not going to get him a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there. So that'll bring up second and nine. On second and nine. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. What so now? the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. <laughs> now a handoff here to his running back. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 15 yards last play, 15 yards here to this go-around. Well, when you got a guy that's doing threat out, Go ahead and use it. And that's exactly what they've done on back-to-back -back plays here. Picked up big chunks of yardage once in the air and once on the ground. On first down, Carr. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And a 
work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Ten more there and another first down. Second sack of the afternoon. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. And again, this time for the tailback. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Shotgun now for Carr. That's going to be caught by Williams for a Raiders touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball down the field, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed. Accepted. Picked off around the 41. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. game because it was evident right there it looks like a simple pitch and catch but you and i both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down and he'll give it here to his running back and he'll be taken down just shy of midfield five yards on the carry good pickup on first down Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And it's third down. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Here's Carr to throw. Throw less incomplete. That's Brown. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 41-yard line. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 41. Pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They'll keep it on the ground. Cole brought down that time by Christian Kirksey. And they're going to speed things up here. And a 
effective seven yard third down conversion. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, pulled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. So, through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. On first down, Cole, and he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone, following a pick of about seven or eight. On second down, it's Cole, and he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive. Take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. And the car. And it's caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a later touchdown. Antonio Brown, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And they are able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. The second touchdown of the game, and they lead. Here's Britton Colquitt now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. The Raider offense, Antonio Brown heading back out. And I think they've double teamed a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try to score yourself. And now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind that it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. This is something you've got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down if they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one score game. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the fish line. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. They were trying to go to Brown once again, and that'll make it third down. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now a handoff here to his running back, and that'll get him down about three yards short of the first. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with one. Here's Britton Colquitt now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. Their defense did its job. Got the stop all they need. Under a heavy and down he goes. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. And to give this time to the tailman. And alley to run. There he goes left side. And he's going to score. It's a touchdown. No flags. And in an overtime thriller, they are moving. game that we got to see and making it extra special not only did i get four quarters with you in this one 
I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters, <laughs> what you wanted. But how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Black Hole.